So here I am out near the garden. It's uh, the end of June. Cherry tomatoes are starting to come through. We like tomatoes. It's nice to see the fruit coming in. Got a lot of tomato plants. They're also growing mainly cucumbers. So one of the things I've been trying for the last month or so is doing fertigation with a hose on of Venturi Siphon. And I'll show you what I found out with that. So this is this little uh, hose on Venturi Siphon. I added a clear line and one of these metering valves to it, not that I really need it at this point. And uh, the blue holes go down to my hose bib down there. The red hose goes to a shower head type of uh, sp sprayer. And that's what I found you kind of need to get these uh, static, non pressurized venturi siphons to work well. I just have a, happen to have uh, quite a bit of this Miracle Grow all purpose plant food. That's what I thought I'd use to determine how well this fertigation system uses. And what I've been able to determine is in, in a gallon of water, uh, if I add six tablespoons, um, once it's pulled up through the Venturi siphon, it'll be delivered in about 20 gallons of, of out the hose there. And it does a pretty good job of fertigating the garden without having to use like a watering can like you would normally use. Now at the end of the hose I just have it open-ended and I just happen to put a little uh, spark plug socket on there because the hose will actually float in the fluid. So by putting that socket on there I can get it to stay down in the one gallon container here. So once I get it flowing I just watch it out of the corner of my eye and uh, see when it's empty. And I pretty much have got it timed the right amount of water that I'm del delivering will pretty much empty this one gallon container so about the same time. Just want to show you how the blue uh, fluid has been going up on the line here. That's what I'm working. I left the hose running out there. You can see how the fluid's dropping down here. Almost halfway done. By watering down near the base of the plant, you don't get the water in the leaves, which could cause disease problems. All right, it's just about done. I'll show you if I lift the tube out of the water here. You'll see the bubbles coming up the line instead of the fluid. I'll put it back in. You can see how quickly it sucks it right up. Take it out. Put it back in. I think you get the idea. Set it, up, set it up for yourself, give it a try, it works pretty well. Happy gardening.